Hi students, welcome to my channel Thoughts of Physics. In the video series of Ray Optics, in this class, I am going to explain the relation between critical angle and refractive index of a medium. So first, before starting the derivation, let us discuss what is critical angle. Critical angle. So let us consider this is the interface or the boundary. Interface or the boundary between rarer medium and denser medium. Or this is, let us say, rarer medium. And it is, let us say, that is denser medium. Now let us consider this is the normal. Normal at this point, normal to the interface. Whenever a light ray Travelling from denser medium to rarer medium. Whenever the light ray travelling from denser medium to rarer medium like this. This is the incident ray. When the incident ray, incident on the denser, uh, that is the interface between rarer medium and denser medium. Generally, the light ray undergoes refraction. The light ray undergoes refraction because when it is travelling from one medium to another medium, it changes its path. That is called refraction. Generally, what happens means it undergoes refraction. It is the rarer medium. So, whenever the light ray travelling from denser medium to rarer medium, the light ray moves away from the normal in, in the rarer medium. Already we know. Whenever the light ray travelling from rarer medium to denser medium, in the denser medium, the light ray moves towards the normal. That's the basic Next, see here what happened the light ray travelling from denser medium to rarer medium. Here light ray moving away from the normal and it has to move like this after refraction. But in case of the critical angle, while we are discussing critical angle, whenever a particular angle, a particular angle of incidence, for example this is let us say IC, IC is called critical angle. Okay. So, whenever the angle of incident which is equal to a particular angle, then the refractor ray just grasses the surface. Refractor ray grasses the surface means refractor ray just travels along the interface. Now, in this case, what is the angle of refraction? The angle between normal and refractor ray that is 90 degrees. The R angle of refraction R, R is equal to 90 degrees. That means from this, now we have to define critical angle. The critical angle definition is the angle of incidence. This is the angle of incident, the angle between incident ray and normal. So, the angle of incidence for which the angle of refraction is 90 degrees. The angle of refraction is 90 degrees. Or the angle of incidence for which the refractor ray just grazes the surface. That is called critical angle. Once again, critical angle definition. The angle of incidence for which the angle of refraction in rarer medium is 90 degrees or the angle of incidence for which the refractor ray just grazes the surface. Okay, that is called critical angle. Now, we are going to derive the relation between critical angle and refractive index of the medium. Let us start the derivation. Now, let us consider, so as it is, that is the interface between rarer medium and denser medium. Let us consider this is the interface. Interface means that is the boundary between rarer medium and denser medium. Let us consider this medium is denser medium. Denser medium and this medium is rarer medium. And this is the inter, uh, uh, normal, normal, normal to the interface. Okay, this is the denser medium, rarer medium. Let us consider a light ray travelling from denser medium to rarer medium. The light ray travelling from denser medium to rarer medium and incident on the interface. For example, here if the angle of incidence is equal to critical angle, if the angle of incidence is equal to critical angle, then if the angle of incidence is equal to critical angle means already we have discussed that the refractor ray just grasses the surface. The refractor ray just grasses the surface. That means the angle of refraction R is equal to 90 degrees. 
So this is what we have discussed in the definition of critical angle. Now let us consider. So the denser medium. This is the denser medium. The refractive index of the denser medium. Let us say it is n one. The refractive index of the rarer medium. It is n two. The denser medium refractive index is n one. The refractive index of the rarer medium is n two. We have taken this. Next. So according to Snell's law. According to Snell's law, already we have discussed the Snell's law. That is according to Snell's law. Snell's law. We know that n one sin i is equal to n two sin r. N one sin i is equal to n two sin r. That is called Snell's law. So now, so here n one, n one is nothing but the refractive index of the denser medium. N two is nothing but refractive index of the Rarer medium. Now, if you apply the values, n one into psi i is nothing but i c. Angle of incidence is equal to critical angle. Then only the refractive rate just grazes the surface. Is equal to n two into psi. Whenever the angle of incidence is equal to i c, then angle of refraction r is ninety degrees. So that is psi ninety degrees. Now, n one into psi i c. Is equal to n two because this uh, sin ninety is one. Now n one into sin i c is equal to n two. Now let us consider the denser medium and the rarer medium is air medium. If the rarer medium is air medium, n two can be taken as one, and n one can be taken as n. So if the rarer medium If the rarer medium, if the rarer medium is air, if the rarer medium is air medium, then this n two can be taken as n two can be taken as one because the refractive index of air medium is one and n one. Okay, it is equal to n. If two mediums are there, you can take n one and n two. We consider n two is equal to one means you can take n one is equal to n. Now, so let us do a number for this equation number one. From the first equation implies. From the first equation implies n one. So n one is n. N one is n into n one is n into sine i c is equal to n two is one. Then take this sine i c. So the other side, then you will get n is equal to n is equal to so n is equal to one by psi i c n is equal to one by psi i c that is the the refractive index and the critical angle relation. This is that is inversely proportional. That means the critical angle is inversely proportional to the refractive index of the medium. That means as the refractive index is greater. In that medium, the critical angle is less. That is, the refractive index and critical angle both are inversely proportional to each other. Now, this is about the relation between critical angle and the refractive index of a medium. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comment section. For latest updates, subscribe and click the bell icon. Thank you.